All right, ready to make some shapes here? Let's do it. We got a new project going. Who should we pick today? Let's go with Mr. Dragoon. Here we go, dude. All right, so we're going to put him right here in the middle, and uh, let's draw some shapes. Remember, the first thing we want to do is we're going to leave a trail if we're going to ever draw anything. And from inside there, let's do, I like to use the move and the rotate as opposed to change X by and change Y by. It gets a little bit easier for me to understand and to rotate uh, in the repeat commands here in just a minute like I'll show you. So let's just start off with, uh, let's pick a square. So let's put the move in there, change it to about 100. And then we're going to rotate in a square. Think about a square. Get that first angle. The dragon moves to the right. Oh, he's a dino. Man, I don't want a dinosaur. I want a dragon. Oh, well, he looks like a dragon to me. We'll go with dragon. So he moves to the right. And then from there, he needs to move. You know what angle that is? It's a square. It's 90 degrees. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees. Make sure you do rotate 90 degrees as opposed to set rotation. That is different. Okay. So once he does that, he's going to move again. So now he'd be facing up. Move 100. And then we're going to rotate 90 degrees again. So that's how many sides is that? Should be two, right? We're going to do it again two more times for 100. And rotate again 90 and move a hundred. One, two, three, four sides. We're good to go. So let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. Dragoon drew a square for us. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the process here. And there's a really cool thing we could do with this called repeat. What are we repeating over and over again here? We've got one move, two moves, three moves, four moves. Hmm. So we could repeat the process four times, right? What's the process? Well, we have move, then rotate. Move, then rotate. Move, then rotate. So let's do that four times, all right? Bring that up into the repeat. Leave a, leave a trail. Boom, boom. Get rid of these guys. And we're going to repeat it four times. And let's see if he does the exact same thing. Boom. He does. Simplifies the process a whole lot, huh? So we repeat the process four times. Let's draw a triangle. How many times do you think we'll repeat the process with a triangle? Well, if you said three, you're right on. So let's do that. We're going to repeat because there's three sides. We're going to repeat the process three times. We're going to move and we're going to rotate. Now, the tricky thing is here, how much do I rotate by? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, let's go back to Mr. Dragoon. Well, we repeated the process four times and we rotated 90 degrees. Did you notice we went all the way around in a circle? And you remember how many degrees are in a circle? There's 360. So if you take the four and multiply it by 90, you know what you get? 360. All right, so four times 90 is 360. So if we're going to do a three-sided figure, we have to put a three there, just like Mr. What are you? An octopus? He's an octopus with six legs. He's a sixopus. <laughs> All right, so three times and three. What times three gives us 360? We're working backwards. Remember, four times 90 gives us 360. Three times what gives us 360? If you said 120, you're right on. So 3 times 120 gives us 360. Remember 360 because we're going all the way around in a circle. Let's do this. Let's hit play. Let's see if he draws a triangle. Boom. He drew us a triangle. Thank you, Mr. Six-Legged Octopus. I appreciate that. So if we wanted to do a different shape, let's just say, hmm, I don't know, five-sided pentagon. We're going to move. We're going to rotate, do 100. So if we repeat the process five times for five sides, five times what is 360? You know? Well, if you don't know this, with multiplying something by five, it's actually just taking 36 and multiplying it by two. So it's 72 there. 
at play, and he should draw us a pentagon. Nice. Except Mr. Dragoon's stepping on it. We want to get him out of there. Boom, we'll do it right there. There we go. Now, the tricky thing comes in with circles. Let's get Mr. Two-Headed Alien Man. What are you? Space pod. Sweet. All right, with circles, we're going to leave a trail. We're going to repeat the process. Hmm. We have to move. We have to rotate. But how many times are we going to repeat the process? Any idea? Well, with a five-sided figure, we repeated the process five times, four-sided four times, three-sided three times. How? Let's think about it this way. How many sides does a circle have? Hmm. Well, it doesn't, right? It's just one curve all the way around. But if we thought about it with degrees, with pixels, and how many times we would draw dots to draw a circle, there'd be 360 times. So th let's repeat the process 360 times. Let's move one, and let's rotate one degree. 360 times one gives us 360 degrees. Let's set our speed at maximum. Sweet. Here we go. Let's hit play and let's watch Mr. Space Pod. Okay, now his speed, super, super slow. And that's because he's drawing 360 pixels over and over again. Drawing one, rotating one. Drawing one, rotating one. But it looks like he's going to give us a circle, isn't he? Awesome. Thank you. Pretty good, huh? Well, we can change it up a little bit here, too. Let's drop this down by 180. And let's rotate the degrees by 2. Remember, 180 times 2 is 360. That's the same process all the way around. I'm going to move the distance of 2 just to make the circle a little bit bigger. And is he going any faster? He sure is. Maybe he's drinking some space coffee. Sweet. Thank you, Space Pod. And we can do it again. What's well, half of 180? It's 90. We're going to double this to 4. Double this to 4. And let's see if he goes even faster. And he does. And does it still look like a circle? Yeah, it totally does. If we make it even bigger, let's make the move distance. Let's just try 10. See what happens. Let's move Mr. Space Pod a little bit over so he doesn't run into the other guys. And look at that. And that still looks like a circle, doesn't it? Pretty cool. So it all boils down to multiplication up to 360, just like we did before. So we got 90 times 4. Here we have 5 times 72, 3 times 120, 4 times 90. So that's the basics of drawing shapes using the repeat function. Pretty cool. Try some yourself. See what crazy things you can come up with. There's even some cool stars that you can do. And you can do even these crazy patterns. Look at this. Boom. And here's some stars. Look at those stars. Over and over again. And again, when you repeat the process, rotate it a little bit. Starts making these pretty cool 3D shapes. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Mustache. All right, thanks, guys, for joining me. Have fun making your shapes.